हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ऑन अनेका क्लाउड कॉम्पिटिंग दीज आर द पॉइंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ अनेका हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर अनेका एंड बिल्डिंग अनेका द फर्स्ट बेसिक क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज अनेका द वर्ड अनेका मीन्स इन मेनी वेज दैट इज इट हैज मल्टीपल प्रोग्रामिंग मॉडल मल्टीपल शेड्यूलिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज मल्टीपल ऑथेंटिकेशन मॉडल एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एनवायरमेंट फॉर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम The main aim of Anika is to support open-ended set of abstraction and features for distributed computing and deployment scenarios. It is a Microsoft solution for developing, deploying, and managing cloud applications. Anika Best Computing Cloud is a collection of physical and virtualized resources connected through a network, which are either the internet or private intranet. then why anika is available only in pass layer as i said anika is a pure pass sol- solution it provides programming application programming interfaces for developing distributed application and virtual execution environment in which the application developed as per api can be made to run Anika supports various programming models such as task programming model thread programming model map reduce programming model map reduce programming uh, first is a task programming model task programming model provides developers with the ability of expressing applications as a collection of independent tasks each task can perform different operations or the same operation on different data and can be executed in order by the runtime environment the second is a thread programming model it is a concurrent applications that is a first develop the capability of running multi thread application on the anika cloud the third is a map reduce programming model map reduce has been designed to process a huge quantities of data by using sim- simple operation that extracts the useful information from a data set and aggregates this information together to produce the final result the next point is the anika cloud application platform that will explain that now i am going to explain about anika technology which is consists of two key components which has uh, one is the sdk and second is runtime environment sdk containing apis for multiple programming models and tools and runtime environment for managing the application execution management which is suitable for the development of enterprise cloud applications and cloud enabling legacy applications <coughs> now this is the architecture of anika which consists different services which are broken up into fabric services foundation and execution services fabric services directly interact with the node through the platform abstraction layer and perform hardware profiling and dynamic resource provisioning then foundation services that identifies the core system of the anika middleware providing a set of basic features to enable anika containers and to perform the specialized specific set of tasks then the next is the execution services which are uh, directly deal with the scheduling and executing of applications in the cloud the then the uh, pal provi- provided features which is the uniform and platform independent implementation interface for accessing the hosting platform access to remote nodes and the fabric services are there for uh, they contain the basic information about the memory space disk space cpu and operating system uh, collected then foundation services logical management of the distributed system built on the top of infrastructure which has storage management for applications accounting billing and resource pricing and resource reservation then application services manage the execution of applications and constitute a layer that differentiates according to the specific programming model um, now i am going to explain the hardware and software requirements of anika cloud platform as a service uh, uh, first hardware requirements it requires a uh, disk space Uh, installation of anika using a distributed microsoft installer package that is msi requires approximately 60 megabytes of disk space uh, 
देन सेकेंड वन इज द अनेका डेमोन रिक्वायर्स एप्रोक्सिमेटली टेन मेगाबाइट्स ऑफ डिस्क स्पेस एंड कंटेनर रिक्वायर्स एप्रोक्सिमेटली ट्वेंटी मेगाबाइट्स देन सेकेंड पॉइंट इज सी पी यू एंड मेमरी वेन रनिंग अनेका क्लाउड मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो ऑन योर मशीन रिक्वायर्स लिटल लिटल रिसोर्सेस एंड टिपिकल मशीन विथ वन गीगाबाइट ऑफ रैम इट शूड आइडियली रन ऑन पॉवरफुल मशीन सच एज वन विथ a dual core processor and 3 gigabytes of ram then software requirements of aneka cloud platform as a service first one is operating system aneka is certified to run on windows 2000 windows xp windows 2003 windows vista windows 7 and windows 2008 then ecma runtime environment microsoft .net framework 2.0 or the mono runtime 2.6 or higher Anika is also capable of running on number of Linux platforms. Then second one is database. Anika supports Microsoft SQL Server 2005, Microsoft SQL Server 2008, and MS SQL 5.1 for database persistent. Then next one is thank you. Now we will see the highlights of the Anika. Technical value: support of multiple programming and application environments. simultaneous support of multiple runtime environments rapid deployment tools and framework simplicity in developing applications on cloud dynamic scalability ability to harness multiple virtual or physical machines for accelerating application result provisioning based on quality of service these are the technical values of the aneka now we will see the business value improved reliability simplicity faster time to value operational eligibility def definite application performance enhancement and optimizing the cap capital expenditure and operational expenditure now these are all these features make the aneka a winning solution for enterprises customers in the platform as a service scenario first one is the build accelerate and manage in build aneka includes a software development kit which includes a combination of apis and tools to enable you to express your application aneka also allows you to build different runtime environments and build new applications uh, second point is accelerate aneka supports rapid development and deployment of applications in multiple runtime environments aneka uses physical machines as a much as possible to achieve maximum utilization utilization in local environment as a demand increases aneka provisions vms via private clouds or public clouds third point is manage aneka management includes a graphical user interface and apis to set up monitor manage and maintain remote and global aneka compute clouds aneka also has an accounting mechanism and manage priorities and scalability based on the quality of service which enables dynamic provisioning Anika provides APIs and tools that enable applications to be virtualized over a heterogeneous network. Supported APIs include task model for batch and legacy applications, thread model for applications that use object oriented thread, map reduce model for data intensive applications like data mining or analytics, other such as MPI that is message passing and actors Uh, over the distributive actor objects or agents can be customized and second one is the supported tools include design explorer for parameter sweep applications built on top of the task model with no additional requirements for pro programming workflow applications built on top of task model with some additional requirements for programming next point is the build different types of runtime environments PC grids also called as enterprise grids data centers clusters multi core computers public or private networks virtual machine or physical use apis and tools to build new applications or enable existing applications over different runtime environments this is what we all explain about the aneka thank you